Hello everyone and welcome back to my now weekly blog. I, it was going to be on a Sunday but I've changed it to a Monday just to allow me to actually, let's just be honest here, my internet at work is much quicker so if I make the video on a Sunday I can upload it on a Monday and then we're all good really. I've just come back from walking the dog and I've been brainstorming about what I can actually do for this week's vlog. I kind of I started off with the obvious. I was going to talk about Nintendo. However, we cover that quite extensively on this week's podcast, which interestingly you can check out over on iTunes. If you just search Gamertron Podcast, you'll hear myself and Alex talk quite a bit about Nintendo's decision to only have Zelda on E3's floor and to not show the the, the well, you see, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. They said that the only thing they're going to have at E3 is Zelda on the Wii U. They've announced that Zelda, or the new Zelda game, is going to be ported to the NX, and the NX is not going to be making an appearance at E3. I think that's clever wording, and we probably will see something around NX at E3. However, Nintendo don't tend to have conferences, do they, these days? So I think that would allow them to show the console without actually being at E3. But that said, I thought we've already covered that, so let's talk about something different for a change. So what can I talk about? I had a few ideas, hopefully I'm going to get a chance to go over them over the next few weeks. However, I thought this week I would settle on my decision to give Destiny another try. Yes, yes, I'm late to the party. The game is well over a year old now, but I did actually play a reasonable amount of it back when it was released. I did bounce off of it, however. Although the shooting was great, it, let's face it, it's made by Bungie, so it's going to be a good feeling and looking game. But I really didn't buy into the loop that it was presenting, and I was quite disappointed that the game wasn't really anything like I had been expecting. In the run-up to release... The game looked great. What really dragged me in, however, was the look of what promised to be a fantastically compelling narrative. Those of you that have listened or watched Game of Thrones stuff, or even the Air Energy stuff that we did before Game of Thrones came along, will know that a really great narrative will pull me towards a game. Games like The Last of Us, Dragon Age Origins, and Mass Effect all come to mind. The latter of that, Mass Effect, is particularly salient because I honestly feel like Mass Effect could, over time, be considered alongside things like Star Wars in terms of deep, engaging lore. Don't get me wrong here, I'm not actually saying that people have to like it as much as Star Wars, it's really up to you. What I'm saying is that the kind of depth of world that is there is akin to that of Star Wars. I think if they were to expand it, there is scope for having books, comics, which I know they have, but I feel like they're quite underwhelming and there is scope to be making something really interesting. The world is fascinating and the kind of the way that humans announce their stage into the or entrance, so to speak, into the kind of intergalactic, um, what's the word, kind of social structure is really interesting. But why am I saying this? Well, in the run-up to release, I had the impression that there was a chance Destiny could be looking towards occupying the same space. The story about the sphere coming along and defending the planet against a massively dangerous enemy force before going completely silent and dormant was utterly compelling and there was real potential for growth and development. So with that in mind, it was with a reasonable degree of excitement that I downloaded Destiny. Expecting to be taken on an exciting journey and beginning a narrative that would take me on a ride for years to come, but what I got, however, was a solid shooter with little to no narrative substance whatsoever. And I feel like that was not only a disappointment but misleading on the part of the marketing campaigns that we saw in the run up to Destiny. At this point I had planned to chat about how the story was underwhelming but now I actually come to talk about it I'm not entirely sure that does the experience I had with the game any justice. The narrative was largely absent in fact leaving a point to point first person shooter with a slightly open hub world that you would walk between missions on each planet. The mechanics were fun but I had nobody to play with and I got bored after about 10 hours or so. Let's be honest here though 10 hours is nothing to scoff at by modern gaming standards. You can probably get a good taste of most games after that amount of time but for games in the same category as Destiny and The Division that's barely enough to scratch the surface. I knew that but I also couldn't be bothered trying to figure the game out. I was looking for a great story and Destiny just well I was going to say largely failed me in that regard but it, it completely failed me in that regard. Why would I go back to it then? Well over the last couple of months I've been playing quite a bit of The Division. 
Largely, I had the same reaction to The Division as I did Destiny. I'd hoped for more of a story and I quickly started to feel like the game was very repetitive. The main difference this time, however, is that I had a couple of friends I could play with. When the game got boring or the story let me down a bit, I had someone there to talk to. What also helped was the fact that the person I had been playing with largely was also in amongst the loop kind of loop games that you have like so you have destiny the division and even to a certain extent borderlands so he was kind of he, he knew what the loot game was all about whereas to, to up to this point i had largely bounced off those types of games with a few exceptions so because he was there and he kind of knew what was it about i kept plugging away my gear score trying to make it better so that i could become strong enough to move into the dark zone and then on the harder missions that the game had Somewhere along the line, the game seemed to click for me. Don't get me wrong, I still have many problems with the game. A boring story, too many collectibles, repetitive missions, and quite frankly, an unnecessary always online feature. But after reaching level 30, you discover that games of this type have a whole new dynamic to them. It becomes about scurrying around, searching for loot, and building up your character in a way that the game isn't, or hasn't, been about previously. I imagine the grind at this point is akin to grinding towards being able to fight a boss in a JRPG, for example. It's weirdly fun and satisfying. There's also a togetherness aspect of the game that others don't seem to have. You meet up with other players in the dangerous, unpredictable dark zone and you find yourself teaming up with complete strangers, helping each other through the world. I've never really had that in other games and it's surprisingly fun. I'm now at the point in the division that I've completed a good amount of the content and I'm about ready to take on the incursion. And I don't really think it, I have it in me to continue the grind much beyond that, to be honest. It's been a great ride, but for the moment at least, I'm about done with it. Some of you might also know that my PS4 has recently developed a fault in which it spits out its discs of its own accord and none of the fixes online seem to be working. So I'm left with having to play downloaded games until Sony graces us with some concrete knowledge about the PS4K and I know whether I can safely buy a new console or not. I mean, I've, I've investigated getting it repaired, but it's going to cost me about £125, I think, which... Is much cheaper than a new console, however, 125 is nothing to be scoffed at. If I have a faulty console, I'm kind of at the stage where if I'm going to be dropping that kind of money, I would may as well just buy a new one. And there's no point in buying a new one at this point until we see what Sony are going to do. That leaves me with a decision to make then. What can I do with my free time until then? I have a few games to play, but nothing long term until Uncharted comes along on May the 10th, so I need something to play. So now that I seem to have, at least, I was going to say a new appreciation, but I at least have some appreciation for these games. Perhaps it's just the division I like, but I guess it's time we gave Destiny another crack of the whip to see. I also have someone to play with now, so hopefully I can get a bit more out of it. Interestingly, he's decided to give Destiny a go as well. Perhaps a big reason as to why I'm suddenly playing it. So that's about it really. I'm about to give Destiny another go and in a weird way it's all thanks to its closest rival, The Division. Honestly, I don't hold a massive amount of hope that I'm going to like this game very much. But I think given the recent experiences I've had with The Division, it's worth at least having a shot and giving me something to play while I wait for my PS4 to either die on me completely or for Sony to get their fingers out and announce a new one. Honestly, I don't hold a massive amount of hope that I'm going to like this game. But I think given the recent experiences I've had with The Division, it's worth at least having a shot and giving me something to play while I wait for my PS4 to either die on me completely or for Sony to get their fingers out and announce a new one and i guess with that that kind of draws to close this week's vlog hope it was okay if you want to see what else we've been up to you can head over and follow us on twitter at uk gamertron you can also like us on facebook facebook.com forward slash gamertron you can also go to our website which is currently undergoing a redesign which is gamertron.net or you can just follow me on twitter which is at gt smiley g t s m i l l i e yes that's the way my second name spelt in hindsight i probably should have did it the smiley face way but it is what it is. Anyway, that's it. I have been David. This has been my weekly vlog. And we are Game of Tron. I'm out.